Newly released wastewater surveillance data suggests that Michigan is a national hotspot for the bird flu. Yeah, the virus is currently infecting poultry, cows, and other mammals across the U.S. Three farm workers, including two in Michigan, have also tested positive for the bird flu. So joining us now is infectious disease expert with DMC, Dr. Leah Monday. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for having me. So there's been a lot of concern since we started talking about these cases popping up, and a lot of people were worried about whether or not this would have an issue for the general public being something we need to look at. How are we feeling about the new information and what we're hearing now? Well, you know, I think the most important thing to start with is keeping this in the context of what wastewater surveillance data really is. And what this is, is a, it's a tool, one of many tools used in public health to try to get almost what you will, an early pulse on what viruses might be circulating in a community. So for example, a person or an animal who is sick with a virus, whether or not they have symptoms, would excrete the genetic material in their stool, and then that would be collected in the toilet and the sewers, make its way into a you know county or city municipal facility that cleans the water, where we could then test for this. So for something like COVID, that was overwhelmingly an issue in people, we could use this as an early warning sign to say, oh, maybe next week or next month we'll see more COVID in this community. With H5N1 being detected, we don't know yet what this will mean or exactly how to interpret interpret this or know where it came from. And to be clear, and we were talking about wastewater, it's that's not something that we would generally come into contact with people. No, no, this is not your drinking water. This is not the water that comes out of your hose. This is this is waste, sewage water, if you will. Yeah. 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 So that would in some ways is that like a false sense of security or is it something to be concerned about? Well, you know, one of the things that we don't know right now that's the biggest question is where did this come from? So we're not sure the wastewater that was detected, was this from sick cows in these communities? Is this from birds um, or is this from people? Um, currently, we don't have any evidence as before of ongoing person to person spread with H5N1 from those two cases that were previously reported in Michigan. Another theory is could this be from milk that we know genetic material has been detected in milk. So if you dispose of milk down the drain, is that how this is being detected? Mm -hmm. And these are the pieces that um, we're going to be using from a public health perspective to do more investigation and answer more questions in these communities. Well, while scientists work to put that puzzle together, we know that there's been a warning for different school groups and other organizations to pause trips to those dairy farms and poultry farms during the summer. Is there anything else that people can be doing to just keep themselves safe? Well, you know, I think, um, you know, one of the things, like you said, is, you know, being aware of symptoms, red eyes, fever, itchiness, and exposure to birds or cows. Um, I think that really what we're going to use this data for rather than feeling fear we should in a way feel empowered that at least in michigan we are looking at this you know currently wastewater surveillance data is sent from over 600 facilities to the cdc in 38 states every day not all of those facilities are subtyping for h5n1 in their flu a samples at least michigan is at least we have a very good health department that works with some of the best veterinary and agriculture scientists in lansing in the country and really, I think we can be at the forefront where infections and public health intersect to work really hard to keep our people and the whole country safe with what we can learn from this. But it's summertime and it's time to be out on the grill and cooking all different, different things. Is this the type of situation where we need to alter our grocery bill or our, our grocery list? No. So, you know, right now the guidance is still that meat cooked to the appropriate temperature is safe, poultry and, you know, beef from cattle. Milk is safe to drink that's been pasteurized. Um, virus DNA has or RNA has been detected in you know milk samples but there's no evidence that it's getting anybody sick and we as always recommend staying away from raw milk um, because it can also harbor other infectious diseases. Right. All right Dr. Leah Monday you always have a way of calming us down before we start freaking out so we appreciate it. Oh, you're Very welcome. much so. Thank you Thank so you. much.